Dan, I'm back. Our next mission in this story arc is Beneath the Skin. Ja'ula's forces launch a surprise assault. Well, well, well. Shocking. This is Captain Kumarke of the LSS Riscava. My research group is under attack in the Andoria system. We believe the attackers are allied with House Mokai in service to Matriarch Ja'ula. The flagship is using some kind of super weapon. We've lost three ships to it already. To all vessels within range, please. We require immediate assistance. We can't last much longer against... Kumarke, my favorite. My favorite Lucari. We've got to go in. We've got to save her. Thank you for coming, my friend. Things were looking quite grim before your arrival. The Mokai vessels attacked without warning. Be mindful of their flagship. It has a super weapon of unknown origin, and it is devastating. Thanks for the heads up. Be seeing ya. Indeed. We'll need to act fast if we're going to save Andoria. Okay. We can do that. The Mokai ships are old, but they've been retrofitted with modern technology. Matriarch Ja'ula has been busy since her arrival from the 23rd century. Look, this cowardly attack took us by surprise. We need to deal with these raiders before that super weapon gets turned on my homeworld. Agreed? Agreed. Let's do it, guys. Do it to them before they do it to us. Hit them hard, hit them fast, guys. In and at them. Ah, the Lucara is over there. The Lucara is a troublesome child. Take out the small fish first. Take you out. Thanks for the assist. Our engines are damaged, but we'll join as soon as we can. Target shields have failed. Don't worry about us. The fleet needs your help more than we do. Alrighty, IKS Makara needs to go. Well, we man enough for it. Firing at it as much as we can. Help! Leave the system! 
Got nothing else to fire at. Ah, oh, the curry's gone. Coward. Don't like these wrists, though. We've driven off the Mokai, but they left a very disturbing problem in their wake. We're not exactly sure what that rift is or what it's capable of. I need answers to those questions. Andoria is my home, and I won't let it come to harm on my watch. Well, let's go check it out. My readings are showing a distinct biological presence with qualities similar in many ways to that of fungi. Very intriguing. I'm afraid astromycology is not my specialty. I believe we need to consult with an expert in the field if we're to solve this riddle quickly. I realize the scientific aspects of the rift are fascinating, but let's not forget this thing appeared as a result of Jaula firing her new weapon. It's not benign. It's meant to do harm. The way I see it, this rift is a ticking time bomb, and we need to shut it down before it explodes. Period. Sounds good to me. How do My we do that? My team has isolated a series of research files that could help us. They're old. From the mid-23rd century. Interesting. A good number of them are classified by Starfleet Command. At the highest level. That's a damn good question. Not sure I want to know the answer. Look, finding an astromycologist from this century and getting them up to speed on this will take time. And we don't have a lot of that. I propose we create a holographic simulation of the author of these files and put it to work on the problem. Fantastic. Let's have a bet. Who do we think it is? Is it going to be Spock? Or I'm going for Barclay. What do you reckon? Let's go in and find out. Good. Let's meet here on the Hoffman. I'll talk to Starfleet about gaining access to these research notes. See you soon. Scotty? No. Come on, it's got to be Reg. Welcome aboard. Hope you're ready to go to work, because we have a lot of work to tackle and very little time to do it in. I can make you a man? I don't think Trin um, Marina wants to be a Sama. man. My people believe we're looking at some kind of quantum-level mycelial thread. Basically, a giant extra-dimensional fungus. A giant extra-dimensional fungus that somehow serves as a portal into another plane of existence. We're working on that with you, the Lucari, and hopefully the hologram we're about to deploy. Let's hope they have the data we need to get the job done. To the holodeck, Batman. Okay, let's get started. I'll initiate the basic holo matrix while you upload and integrate the relevant personality and research data. Okay. Okay, merging your data with the core holo matrix now. Computer, initiate program Papa Sierra 1. Starfleet. I should have known. You're There's no way in French. hell I'm letting you weaponize my work. Also, I don't appreciate being kidnapped, drafted, whatever this is. Damn it. The simulation isn't accessing data from his Starfleet career. Computer, initiate full security override on my authority. Hello? Is your universal translator working? Anyone? Who's in charge here? You? It's you, isn't it? That should do it. Computer, reinitialize program. Please state the nature of the mycelial emergency. No, I still don't like you. Don't know why I've never liked that character.
You know, I was afraid something like this would happen. I told Strahl that our work could get twisted into some sort of weapon. I never expected the Klingons would be the ones doing the twisting. Give me a second. Reviewing your current data. Got it. Okay, we need to know more about the probes this time-traveling Klingon fired into the mycelial network. I'll run some simulations, see what I can find out. All right, any more questions, or shall we get back to work? Back to work. Nice touch. I'd have been fine with a lab from this century, but it's the thought that counts, I suppose. I'm going to run some calibration tests. I'll need you to handle the radiation spore saturation levels. Okie dokies, I can do that. I'll start the calibration, then the monitors will show you the level of radiation and spore saturation in the chamber. You'll need to adjust it up or down as we go. Don't let it get too high or too low. If the levels go out of bounds, I'll have to reset the simulation. That's annoying, so don't do it. It really is annoying. Let's try and get it right first time. Okay. I have absolutely no idea what we're doing here. Isn't that fantastic? Where's my glowing lights? Don't panic, Mr. Mannerin, don't panic. Can't find. Ah! The simulation is picking up speed. Stay sharp. Increase the radiation level. It's getting too low. Um. Okay. Spore saturation is getting low. The simulation failed. Let's try again when you're ready. I'm ready, but do you want to light up the machine first and? Give me a clue how it works. Alrighty. Um, well, that's not good. We need to keep it Increase blue. the radiation level. It's getting too low. Spore saturation is too high. Reduce it before it crashes the simulation. Okay. The simulation failed. Let's try again when you're ready. Okay, so this is different to the way I've done it before. Notice on this console along the top are some numbers. You've got to keep in the middle ones. Red, you're dead. Green, you're clean. So you might want to turn your camera to face that. And um, minus this. On one side, plus this is on the other side. Alrighty, let's keep an eye on this here. So we need to go down a little bit, I think. We do. A bit more. A bit more. Leave it there for a second. A bit more down. Oh, looks okay. Increase the radiation level. It's getting too low. That yeah, looks fine to me. The simulation is picking up speed. Stay sharp. Well, I'm trying. Well, the simulation crashed like a lead balloon, but oh, I think we have enough. So All right, we're good here. Let me take a look at the results. Gun. Interesting. First thing, we can use the rift to transport into the mycelial network, which is good because we need to go there to figure out what this Jaula is up to. All right, took me a couple of goes to work out what's going on. You've got to keep your readings in these uh, four brackets between 20, minus 20 and 10. If it's too low, you've got to click on uh, the plus, bring it up. Too high, the minus, bring it down. Apparently, after three goes, the game goes, ah, oh, screw it, you're rubbish, and does it for you. That's fine. Sorry, got ahead of myself there. 
I'm detecting radiation coming from the rift of a type unique to 23rd century Klingon tech. It's probably coming from those probes Ja'ula shot into the network. Whatever they're doing in there, it's probably not for the benefit of life, the universe, and everything. 42. Sounds like we need to send an away team into this mycelial network to gather more data on the problem and deal with whatever House Mokai is doing there. I'll set up a mobile emitter so Stamets here can go along. I have a feeling we'll need his expertise on the other side of that rift. Well, that didn't work out as planned, but it did work out. Back to the transporter room. All right. Transporter's ready and standing by to beam you into the mycelial network. I took the liberty of sending your ship the adjustments. Your away team will be ready to join you there. Just Bang. say the word when you're ready to go. Fantastic. Make it so. Oh, are you coming? Good luck in there. We'll be monitoring from here. Energize. Well, this is new. Welcome to the Mycelial Network. All right, we don't have a lot of time. Between her weapon and whatever tech she's put in here, Ja'ula's done a lot of damage. We need to put a stop to it before it gets too far gone. Let's head toward those Klingon energy signatures. Seems like a good place to start. Okay. That would be the Jasep. They're a sentient, spore-based colony life form. My records indicate they act to decompose any material that's alien to the mycelial network, like you, for example. Adjust your personal shields to this setting. It should protect you from their nibbling. Wait, what? They're going to eat us? Good. Whatever's happening with that Mokai tech hasn't spread here. Not yet. And take some samples from healthy spore clusters. We'll need them for comparison studies later. So you really you can't take appreciate this sample. Like you can see for yourself. That guy never shut This is up. serious. If the network is damaged beyond repair, it could end all life everywhere. As we know it. So and I think there's some arrows behind this rock. Yes, then did I? Hold your fire. I'm pretty sure she comes in peace. Hey, how you doing? I better talk to the new arrival, but we've seen her before. And now she's buggered off. Where did you go? There you are. Hello. Outsiders, I am of the Josep. We are people of this realm. We have met people of your realm before. Many of them have traveled here. Others from your realm have sent things that are hurting us. You must make this stop. I created this form to give the Josep voice to communicate with you. Based on your memories, Patel is compassionate, idealistic, someone who protects, someone like the Josep. A little bit soft in the head, maybe. We waste time. Strange devices have been brought here. They make the fungus sick. 
They are making the yield tree bloom. This yield tree she's talking about is bad news. The Josep aren't fond of it, and with good reason. Its bark is toxic to them. Don't eat it. There was a tear in the sky, and a device came through it from your realm. It gives off strange light and heat at all times. This is what brings the sickness and the poison. We know it. The device is deeper in the forest. I will take you to it, but you must stop it. You must. Let's get moving. Looks like this device is deeper in the mycelial forest. Watch for visible signs of fungal corruption and yield tree growth. The more we see, the closer we'll be to the problem. All right, you need to find the glowing bits. It will let us travel through the network to another part of the realm. And it's like a transporter pad to get on it and use it. Whoa! Well, that was not cool. Take readings of tardigrades and fluid samples. Interesting. Now, this might be a tardigrade birthing ground. Try not to scare the little ones, okay? I don't think we'd survive an encounter with an angry adult tardigrade, let alone several. You wouldn't. I've got one. The liquid sources here may tell us more about them as well. Tardigrades can put themselves into a desiccated state to survive without water, but they still need it to remain active and to grow. Take a sample from the center of the pool. That should provide useful information. Okay. Oh, now I've got my boots wet. The fluid sample shows a high level of nucleotides and proteins. This serves not only as a liquid source for the local flora, but also a nutrient carrier. These proteins include compounds associated with the formation of neurotransmission and memory. It's possible that the liquid carries information in the form of protein compounds, and that specific fungi may release chemicals into the fluid that allow for widespread communication. Did you say fungi? Not fungi? I think you did. Right, come here, baby tardigrades. Interesting. Even baby tardigrades are extremely tough. You will be mine. Oh, yes. You will be mine. The tardigrades are of the realm. They live in harmony within the forest. Come here, you little bugger. These readings could be very helpful to us here. Understanding this ecosystem may be the key to healing it. Agreed. However, what's this? Any use to us? Nope. So we're looking for a way to get to the next level. There it is. Hello! Hello! Look, see that? That's definitely not Klingon tech. It's running clean, too. No radiation or harmful emissions. Whatever it is, it's not part of the problem here. I'd like to take a closer look, if you don't mind. Well, I don't mind, but looking at the map, looks like there's a lot of enemy forces around. So, you're about to enter a bit of a danger zone, of course, judging by the number of red dots. So just be aware. Curious. 
curiouser and curiouser. So this is a lochi tech. I wonder what they're doing in here. This device appears to collect spores floating in the atmosphere. Based on what we know about a lochi, I think it's collecting food for them. A lochi are like the Jasak, part of this realm. They lived here before they went to serve and fight in your realm. Now some of them have returned. Maybe. The Alachi don't have a lot of friends in the Alliance. I'd be worried about this information falling into the wrong hands. The last thing this place needs is a bunch of well-armed types stomping around looking for payback from the Alachi. What? Like us. Incoming! Alrighty, here they come. Something's wrong with the Alachi. They have the sickness. That's right. And that... Makes them dangerous. Take them out. First as you can. Those Alachi were of the realm, but they were sick. Toxic, like the Yield Tree. Their devices were corrupt as well. If we cannot cure the Alachi, we must call them from the realm before the sickness spreads. Cull. See, that's code for kill. We like it. Kill him. Kill them all. You see? Look. Look here. It is corrupted. The device makes it grow in a strange, toxic way, and it spreads the sickness. Now, once again, if you get a, a little too close, you're attacked while they're still talking at you, so deal to them. We've got to scan the fungi. Lots of yield tree growth here. That's not a good thing. The corruption is getting stronger. Talking of fun guy, why are there no mushrooms here? That's right, because there's not mushroom inside. Anyway, moving on, kill them, kill them all up here. Take that. This fungi is being mutated by Hark Peng radiation. Oh, not good. Fungi. Looks like this used to be an Alachi research outpost. They were starting to build defense systems in response to incursions from our space. Bet you can't guess who was responsible for those. Wasn't me. But it could be a danger area. Um, looks like a strategic point. So, hey, let's get some defensive weaponry out here. Just in case. Unfortunately, the radiation from Jaula's tech had a negative effect on the Alachi. They began to mutate, and their higher brain functions started to deteriorate. Looks like a team decided to head deeper into the network to deal with the problem. There aren't any coherent entries after that. We must go deeper into the network, toward the source of the corruption. I think we peaked too soon there, guys. So once again, we are looking for... The way out of here. Here she is. Hello! She's waving. Hello! Whoa! The device is close. You see? The yield trees, the corruption, they have spread through this area. Find the next node and jump. The source of the sickness must be in the next area. Alrighty then. It's not going to be as easy as walking to this next area, is it? That would be, just be too... too easy? Or is it? Why would you do that? Fantastic, we're going in. It's going to get tough. 
Something's wrong here. The radiation has mutated the hyphae grouping in this conduit. I can't compute its dynamic output ranges and adjust to compensate for the mutation. Long story short, we're stuck. Oh, right. <sighs> no. The sickness has damaged it too much. I cannot speak to it and make it work. It must be navigated by the Stamets. The living Stamets. Well, just in case... I'm getting everything out of my toolbox. The living Stamets, the one who came here before, was part of the network, connected. He touched it with his mind. The living Stamets could feel the flow of the network. That is how he guided his ship home through it. Yes, but this Stamets does not think the same way. It thinks like a machine. Not that the memories and essence of the Stamets from before are within the network. We may be able to bring them forth for you, so you can merge them with this Stamets. What you need is within what grows here, and the fluid that connects and sustains it. So, plants and water? We can do that. The mycelial forest is a vast network. Much like your computers, all you need to do is bring the memories you want to the surface. The water connects all the growth. Use it to compel the fronds to blossom and release the memories you seek. Watch carefully. When the fronds bloom, collect the spore memories from them. Okay. Quickly, go collect the spores before they disappear. So, we dip into the water and then we have to get to these points really quickly. And we have to do this three times. Whilst being under attack. You will need to collect more of the fluid. I'm working on it. Ah. I would if I knew where the pond was. Oh, there it is. More fluid. Head to the next You will area. need to collect more of the fluid. Quickly, go collect the spores before they dissipate. I'm on it. Now, we're being attacked, so when you get the opportunity, bonk you will some need to collect more of the fluid. weapons down. That'll keep the uh, enemy busy while you collect some more fluid. Quickly, go collect the spores before and they disappear. Check where your yellow arrows are. Here we go. So as long as you're kind of on it, put your weapons down. You have the spores. Now you must return to the place of memory. It's not Together, too, uh, too we will difficult. make them rebuild the memory of what was. Back to the pond. Just a little bit avatarish, but we like that. Spores. They're the building blocks of energy across the universe. Look how it interacts with the spores. It's as if I don't know where to go. You only do it for me, but I could be a You love it when you only do things for me. You can thread that we fly through space. I so hoped you would find your way. I can't even find my way out. Follow the music, Paul. I'm not going anywhere. Open your eyes. Hugh? Hugh? Barney McGrew? Okay. I know what I need to do here. Hugh, now I know what it was like for you when you came back. Now it's my turn, except you're not here. None of you are. Burnham, Tilly, Saru, all of you, you're gone. It's just me now. What? What's left of me, at least. You okay, Paul? I'm going to need a moment here, okay? This is a lot to take in. Does that mean we're going to be attacked while you take it in? 
Could never be too sure, guys. Okay, okay. Everything's all coming together in my head now. I can navigate the network again. I can do this. I guess not. We are alike now. Both created for a purpose, but with the memories of someone else. The memories of a life not entirely our own. But we are alive. Patel may be a living thing, but what about me? I'm a computer program, a simulation of a life once lived, and yet, I remember being him. I remember the thrill of discovering the mycelial network, the terror of the Klingon war, serving on discovery, everything I felt when I lost Hugh, and everything I felt when he came back. All of it. Everything. We were made, not born. But that alone does not define us. If we have all the memories, all the feelings, we can choose how to live, according to what we know and feel. We are as real as anyone. We are just made of different things. You're giving me the chance to do what I want, to be who I want to be. Thank you. I've made my choice. Let's finish this. A lot of people are counting on us. Counting on me. I can help, and I will. It's what Hugh would have wanted, and it's what I want. All right. Excuse me, we need to find our way out of here. Our scanners are much used as a chocolate teapot. But it can't be far away. A little clue here. A tiny little marker there. In that mini-map, top right, where my arrow is, that's a clue. The sickness. It is strong here. It is dangerous. Already many of the Alachi have become sick and corrupted. There are three devices up ahead. You must disable them. As well as enemy forces. So we take with us what we can and we get stuck in. There are the devices, up ahead. But, ah. Uh. They are of the realm, but the sickness doesn't affect them. It should. They eat overgrown blooms. They drink the water. Somehow, they remain strong. Right now, the radiation is creating more overgrowth than the tardigrades can eat. If we take out Jaula's device, the corruption will stop and the growth rate will return to normal. Then the tardigrades will eat the surplus overgrowth, corrupted or not. Given time, they should slowly bring the ecosystem back into balance. Alrighty then. This could be tricky. We can't disable the probes without clearing the corrupted mycelium, and we can't do that without risking detonation. We're going to need to think outside the box on this one. 
What if we had something that could eat? Just saying. We need to convince a hungry tardigrade to come to the buffet table, so to speak. If we can lure one of them to the probes, it might clear the overgrowth to a point where we can safely disarm them. I'm thinking we use the healthy spore samples we collected earlier. If you're willing to wave a carrot in front of a hungry, practically indestructible eight-legged horse. Sure. Right, so we have to find a tardigrade. There's one right there. Entice it. And I guess take it to one of the things we need to be at. Let's take a look. Tardigrade is distracted. Quickly, use your lure again. What? Go get him, boy. Now, I've had one of these for some time. If you haven't had one, you need to get one. But you can't you if you've got one already in your inventory as a pet, which I have. Remember, we need to lead the tardigrade. You can't use it. You need one to actually pick up. So while it's doing its thing, I think it's doing its thing. Uh, we've got to go from uh, waypoint to waypoint here. Maybe. Deactivate the probe. Okay, you should be able to access the probe and disarm it now. When you say that. Remember, we need to lead the tardigrade. Oh, I know. Remember, we need to lead the tardigrade to the probe. Holy heck. I'll go back over here. So it appears you've got to get them to certain points, of course. And then deactivate the probe. Now lure the tardigrade to another probe. Oh, I'll give it a go. Remember, we need to lead the target. Oh, I know. Enemy targets on center. Prepare for combat. You said to go here and lead the target right here. So, what you have to do in this mission is actually go to the waypoints, I guess, and not to where you think you've got to go or it tells you to go. Remember, we need to lead the tardigrade to the probe. Oh, I know. So again, it's quite frustrating if you don't get the option to um, lure the tardigrade here. Remember, we need to lead the tardigrade. Oh, up. Always annoying, isn't he? Thing is. Remember, we need to lead the tardigrade to the probes. It'll clear the overgrowth so we can disable them. I think we need to find a tardigrade again. He's got lost. So we're going to find another one. Hello! Hey you! Tardigrade! If you want to come with us, come on this way. We'll take you to some food. Get over here, lady. So each time you've got to um, remember, we need to lead the tardigrade. You've got to get the tardigrade interested in the item here. <coughs> there you go. When he is, you see there's a progress bar. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got to wait till it gets full. Once it is. Okay, you should be able to access the probe and disarm it now. You can get the probe. 
Nice. Only one more to go. Entice your tardigrade to follow you again. Hello, little heart. Come to the next one. He'll come with you. Get right in it. Wait till he's uh, had a good chump on it. Defend him. And just hang loose till he gets to 100%. Tardigrade's done. Disable that probe. There you go. When he's done his thing, click disable. And protect yourself at all times, just like in boxing. So now we're going to do uh, some mopping up here of the enemy. And that should do it. This is all starting to come together. Jaula's plan, that is. I think I understand what she's trying to do. And? Jaula and House Mokai learn about classified Starfleet projects in 2256. She raids the Glen and discovers the spore drive, then steals all of the data on it. Unfortunately for her, Strahl corrupted the data before she stole it. So, when she made her spore-based superweapon, she was using bad data. Alrighty. She puts her shiny new toy on her flagship and joins the attack on Starbase One. That didn't work out so well for her, though. Bad data, bad weapon. She pulls the trigger and boom! It blows up in her face and the explosion throws her into this century. Ah, it's gonna suck. Jaula works out the bugs in her weapon's design. She determines that mutated spores are a critical component, so she sets out to get more of them. That's where the probes come in. She fires them into the network, they beam out hark peng radiation, spores mutate, and Jaula gets more ammo for her weapon of mass destruction. Problem is, she didn't think it through. The radiation causes unexpected side effects, as we've seen firsthand. Somehow, I don't think Jaula is worried about collateral damage, though. No, I don't think so. Knowledge is power. Now that we know what she's up to, we can take steps to put an end to her plan and protect the network from her actions. Hopefully, we'll be able to work with the Josep on this. Who knows, maybe the Alachi will join the fight. The same Alachi, that is. Yeah, I think they might. No argument there. Wait, did you hear that? Something's coming. Something big. So, hey, maybe a warning there. Maybe time to get your defenses sorted. So I'll probably do all of this, and then we'll beam out, but let's give it a go. It's a giant tree. Oh, and a ship. Oops. I'm going to say that's not a good sign. I agree. Oh, the greys. We can take the greys out. Can we? Talk to the Alachi. Mm, all right, we'll give it a go. But I'm warning you, I'll shoot you in the face. Do not fire. We are allies. Forgive me. It has been so long since I have used my voice. Mm. I am, I was, Jarsev, a Romulan once. I am Ilachi now. Partially 
My mind returns to the time before my change. The weapon is to blame. It corrupts some of us, drives us mad. Others, like me, become fusions of Ilachi and what we were before. Wait, these weapons, they are not of your creation, are they? No, not at all. They're Jaulis. And she's mad in the head. You must stop her. Close the rifts. Destroy her weapons. If she continues this madness, she will utterly corrupt this realm. If that happens, it will break through into the void space, your realm, and destroy everything. I know, right? You should return to your realm. Ju'ula's attack has angered other Ilachi. They are taking a fleet to destroy anything on the other side of the rift. What are you talking about, Willis? You must leave now. Go to your realm and help your people while you can. It is our way. The Josep thank you for removing the sickness. We will work with Tarsev and other Alachi who wish to stand together against Ja'ula. We believe we will meet again, friends. Goodbye. Okie dokie. Beam me up, Scotty. And once again, a loading screen. So I have to say, I see you watching live on Twitch TV. Do follow. I think you probably have. If you're on YouTube, click subscribe. You know you want to. We're receiving your data now. No sign of our house Mokai friends, but something's definitely happening with the rift. Based on what you found out in the network, we'll be able to close it but we'll need to get several external readings before we're ready to try. Riscala and Hoffman can head to opposite ends of the rift. From there, we should each be able to get a differential reading. Once we have enough data, you can use a deflector modulation to close the rift. Fantastic. So... Those are Lachi ships. They're using spore drives. Here they come. The Alachi drives make mine look pretty basic. I'm gonna beat them now. The Hoffman is in position. Initiating scan. So we've got to fight off the Alachi. I don't think they're a big deal. Protect the Hoffman. Now notice all the drop boxes, you need to pick them up. Anything you don't need to discard. I don't pick them up myself because uh, for me personally there's nothing in them useful. I've been playing far too long, but for you guys, it's all money, it's all energy credits, it's, um, it'll help you get all the uh, the money and the uh, 
stuff you need to build your weapons up to a leech status. My ship is by no means anywhere near one of the top ships you'll see. In fact, I wouldn't be in the top thousand. But it suits my purpose. I survive. And I play well. But if you're really dedicated, there are things uh, out there to look at. Some people are DPI chasers. Some people are elite mission only guys. I usually do only advanced or elite missions myself, but the walkthroughs where it's where just a normal level. But you'll definitely want to want to pick everything up and at least sell it to get some uh, coins, shall we say, to use on the exchange to buy high quality equipment. And also to buy um, upgrade items, so you can upgrade what you want. The best way to... This is the Hoffman. We've completed our scan. Standing by to close the rift. All right. The best thing to do is to find weapons you like and then spend your time getting the Dilithium crystals, and upgrades necessary to turn those into elite weapons. At this stage uh, in your uh, career, you should be looking at making things elite. If I look in my uh, items here, things that are gold, these weapons aren't. Now, the reason those weapons are like they are is because yesterday, I forgot, I did an endeavour which meant I had to fire a lot of Tetrion weapons on these personal endeavours. And I haven't put my elite weapons back. One of the takeaways from that is that you can see we don't need them. It just makes things quicker. And that was a good reminder for me. I'll put them back at the end of this mission. So, sometimes you get people saying, it's all right for you guys, you've got elite weapons. Well, here I am, not using them. Okay, close the rift, now. Going in. So obviously, oh, elite weapons with a higher DPI, the mission would have been quicker, wow, that but no easier. I can't say I didn't have doubts at first, but whew, well done. Not to rain on the parade here, but Ja'ul is still out there. As long as she has that weapon and the spores it needs to power it, this can happen again. Oh, I do hope so. Well, you can count on the Lucari. We will do what we can to stop her. This isn't just a threat to our universe. There's a brilliant, wondrous realm lying beneath our conception of space. And it's in danger as well. We can't let harm come to it from our side of the cosmos. We stopped Jaula's attack and saved Andoria. I'd call that a good start. That rift, though, that's something you don't see every day, even in Starfleet. And I've seen some strange things in my time. It was good working with you all. I'll make sure Starfleet Command is updated. We'll do everything we can to bring Ja'ula to justice and put a stop to this campaign of hers. Thank you, Captain. About Ja'ula, she's going to go after any spores she can get her hands on. You're going to want to cut her off. The sooner the better. And I can help with that. Pretty sure you didn't bring me into all this for the charming conversation. Though that is a definite bonus. I'll be glad to have something to do. It'll help me adjust to life as a sentient hologram. I've got a lot to process and a lot to catch up on. That might be the understatement of the 25th century. 
Short term, I'll start putting together a list of known spore colonies. We need to keep an eye on those. If we're lucky, we'll catch Jaula before something like this happens again. And so, that was beneath the skin. That was fun. Now we have uh, two main baddies that we're going to meet time and time again, just for now. What an extraordinary series of events. The mycelium network will be of great interest to the Lucari, I can assure you. Our own astromycologists will want to study it as soon as possible. I do hope the Alliance is able to put a swift end to Jaula's campaign. The thought of her using spores as part of a weapon, it's unsettling. If she's able to perfect that technology, no one will be safe from her wrath. Finally, please send my regards to Commander Stamets. It was such a pleasure to work with him, and I do wish him the best as he explores the galaxy in our time. Me too, even if he is a pain in the butt. Thank you, Kamake. Lovely to work with you again. Hey, if you're watching live, thank you so much. It's really appreciated. If you are not and you're on YouTube, subscribe. That's it. That's the end of this mission. We will be back a little bit later with another one. Have fun. Take care of you. Enjoy the sun or the snow or the rain. Whatever. Get out there. Have fun, guys.